Hey guys, today I have a big project in a very little space. We're talking under the bathroom sink. Yes, that is a very scary place in my house and it's always been that way. For some reason, it has always been the darkest, dingiest place in my entire house and I have never put in very much effort to organize it. So everything just gets stashed under there and over time it just piles up and it just becomes this big, scary, ugly mess and it's never a pleasure to open that up and look at. So I decided that that has to change today. And I'm gonna take you guys along with me through the process of it and I'm actually gonna take a few days to just you know sort of take my time I'm gonna pull everything out and decide like do I want to have shelves under there and I'm just gonna you know basically build my own kind of not permanent shelving system in there but semi permanent because we are renting the place so I don't want to change anything too much I don't want to be drilling into the walls at all but I just want some shelves in there to kind of help me get organized a little bit so I'll show you how we do that and then how I get all my stuff organized back into there. So let's go ahead and get started with the project. All right, you guys, welcome to my very tiny bathroom. I'm going to be giving it a makeover sometime, but um, not quite yet. Uh, I'll try to get around to it. That's gonna be the first thing that gets kicked out of here because I hate that soap dispenser. So here's under my bathroom sink. Yes, there it is. Um, we've got girly products here. I've got Q-tips, cotton pads in this container. Looks like backup razors and some backup shampoo and conditioners, cleaning products here. And then in this bag, this cute little Barbie bag, which my friend gave me, it's like a reusable tote. I just use this to store like my, my hair supplies, like the, you know, like L'Oreal Quick Blue, um, my developer, like clean developers, um, toners, purple shampoo. So it's not exactly totally out of control. Um, there's not like a huge pile of stuff in here, but it just has absolutely no organization going on whatsoever. So we definitely need to fix this up because right now I don't, I don't ever enjoy opening this up. Um, it's just a dark, dingy place, like I said, and it, it needs some love. So I'm going to see what I can do. I decided that I wanted to make some shelves, so we picked up a piece of quarter inch MDF. It was only six bucks at Home Depot. It was just a small piece, but it was just enough to create one shelf. So we have the top, the side, side, and a center support. Michael cut out all of the pieces for me, and then I went to work painting. I wanted to paint the shelf white so it would be the most light reflective as possible since it was going into a dark cabinet. So I painted the top and the sides. I'm attaching the middle support to the top of the shelf and I'm using my high temperature hot glue gun. At first I used wood glue and then I didn't like it. It was taking too long to dry so I just wiped it off and decided to go with hot glue. So I'm just going to fix the centerpiece and I'm going to use a little extra hot glue along both sides of the centerpiece. That will just help stabilize it a little bit better. And then I just hold it down and give it a couple minutes to dry. Now let's see if it fits. So I'm sliding it in underneath my bathroom sink and it looks like it's good. I'm going to slide the sides in. The sides I'm not connecting, I'm not gluing them to the top. They can just wedge right under there and they'll stay put just fine. Now for phase two, disguising the plumbing. So I'm taking the measurements for the top space and I'm using a piece of foam board. I'm just tracing out those measurements onto my piece of foam board. I have one main goal here and that is to cover the sides and the back and then the center part of the plumbing. So I'm working on this in sections. First I'm cutting out the sides so there is a side wall and then a part that's going to cover the back and now I'm tracing out the piece that's going to cover the center where the plumbing is. That's where the pipe is. So I'm just going to cut out all of the pieces that I traced. These are all the measurements that I took inside. And I'm going to use this fabric. This is just a vinyl fabric. I got this at Walmart. It's just a white on white damask print and I'm gonna use this to cover up my pieces of foam board. When cutting out the fabric, I'm leaving an inch to an inch and a half of overhang just to be able to wrap the fabric around the back of the board. I'm using this 3M spray adhesive. I'm gonna spray my foam board on one side, just spray it really well, and then I'm gonna come over to my table and press it down onto the back of my fabric. So I have my fabric laying pretty side down and I'm pressing the foam board into the back of it. I'm going to flip it over and smooth out any of the wrinkles. Now it's time to finish off the back. So I'm just taking my spray adhesive and spraying all around the perimeter. And then I'm just pressing the sides of the fabric down and smoothing them out. And there we go. So now I'm going to repeat that process on all of the pieces of foam board that I cut out. Next, I'm using my hot glue gun to attach the pieces together. So I'm just applying some hot glue down one of the sides, and then I'm gonna grab my other piece and press it into it and let it dry. 
I'm making two of these to fit on either side of the plumbing underneath my bathroom sink. I'm tracing out the last few pieces of foam board. This is going to serve as my drain cover. So I'm cutting those out and I'm going to follow the same procedure as before. I'm going to leave a little bit of overhang for the fabric, spray on my spray adhesive onto one side of the foam board, press it into the back of the fabric, press it down firmly, flip it over, and spread out any wrinkles. Just smooth those out. And we finish off the back just like before, spraying the adhesive all around the perimeter, pressing the fabric down, smoothing as we go, smooth out any wrinkles. Just finish off the last edge here and we are done. Look at that nice sheen. It's got a really pretty shimmer to it. And just like before, I'm using my hot glue gun to attach the pieces together. So I'm just going to apply some hot glue to one side, press it into my front piece and repeat on the other side. And just like that, my plumbing cover is finished and ready to go. I found these crates at Ross and I thought they were so cool. They were the perfect size to fit underneath my bathroom sink to help organize things. I really like the distressed gray wash look to these, but I want to paint these white because I do want them to be as light reflecting as possible since they're going underneath my bathroom sink. I wanted everything to be very light and bright under there. Good thing about a couple of extras that I can put elsewhere in the house that I'm going to be leaving in the gray wash. Now we're ready to start putting this puzzle together. So I'm going to slip these pieces in and hopefully they all fit together as planned. I'm just wedging them against the side and those back plumbing knobs because, oh goodness, we do not want to look at those plumbing knobs or that pipe in the middle. So let's get that pipe cover in there. And that piece I just press right up against the back. With the plumbing concealed, we're ready to get organizing. So I'm going to slip the crates into place. And I'm going to go grab all of my bathroom supplies and see where it's all going to go. So one more time, let's take a look at the before. And here's the after. I'm so happy with it. I couldn't wait to share it with you guys. So I'm going to share where I got my organizers because I did pick up a few new organizers, some glass jars, and this little uh, casserole dish over here. Um, but we'll get to all of that. I want to talk about uh, first the shelf and how that worked fitting it in here. It would have been a very, very tight squeeze had I tried to glue the sides on or nail in the sides um, to the top. So that's why I just wedged those in instead using the weight of everything that was going to be on top to keep them wedged into place. And then the center support is the only part that's glued on, but these have worked out great. So everything is super stable. So that worked out awesome. And I love, love, love having all of the pipes and the, you know, the plumbing and everything covered up. That has just made like a, a night and day difference. So I'm so much happier with that because it was such an eyesore before. Oh my goodness. So, okay, let me share what I have in these crates. So the crates I got at Ross, they were, I don't know, like $7 or something. I actually picked up um, a couple sets of them. So I have some different sizes uh, in elsewhere in the house. So in here I have um, like all of my hair supplies like my hair highlighting supplies. So I've got my like highlighter, um, cream developers, toners, and then this container here, I actually, I used to have my Q-tips in, but now it's just empty, but I still like it um, in here because I don't know, it's just nice. It seals and it's just a nice handy little container to have in here. So I think I might keep hair things in there. Like, you know, maybe like little clippies and things that I just need to um, have handy in the bathroom. And then in this crate, I have my little Dior box, which I, I got this for free when I purchased a perfume like years ago and I've had it all this time. And it's just been really handy to store stuff in. I used to have my false lashes in it, but now um, I changed things around in my vanity. So now those are elsewhere. And then this box didn't really have a home. So I decided to use it in here to store all my girly products and backup Venus razors and uh, pain pills for during that time of the month. So everything is, is, is all nice and neat and contained in there. And then in the back, we have, we shop at Costco, so we always end up like with a slab of backup stuff, right? So I have like a couple gallons of toothpaste back here. This is my favorite kind. I love that. And then let's see, we've got some Tom's toothpaste too. And then back here is just a backup, um, like a little Lancome eye makeup remover. And I think that's, oh, and of course a couple of extra toothbrushes. So that's all for the crates. But up top here is my favorite part. That just is like, oh, that just 
brings a sense of calm to me. I don't know what it is, but it just feels so good to just look at all of this. And I guess it's just the contrast from what it was before. But I just love getting in here now. And I have all of my like um, sugar scrubs I keep in here. Uh, well, not all of them. I mean, the ones that are currently in use. So I've got my 100% pure coconut body scrub. Uh, my 100% pure coconut nourishing body cream. Oh, I should mention for the scrub, I always use a little scoop. So that's what this is because you never want to like dip your hand into your your scrub because then you can contaminate it. So we don't want that. Um, so it's always a good idea to just use a little scoop or a spoon or something to scoop out your scrub in, into your hand before you get in the shower. And then this is my organic Fiji um, coconut uh, or pineapple coconut oil. So it's just pure pineapple coconut oil. And so that's great for using on your hair or your skin after the shower. It's just, it's lovely. And then this is my John Masters Organics um, Blood Orange and Vanilla Body Milk. Ooh, baby, that stuff smells so good. That's another one of my favorite lotions. And then a puff. And oh, did I mention, okay, this is a casserole dish. And at first my idea was to keep like all that kind of stuff like on a little um, like a small vanity tray and have that in here but I couldn't find a vanity tray that I liked and then I came across this just randomly at Ross in the kitchen section so it's just a casserole dish and I was just like oh my gosh I love that color I wanted to do a little bit of an accent color um, and so that's when I saw that and I was like that's it that's what I want and then I found these little uh, towels which most of my towels are all white but I thought you know what I'll just pick up a couple of these because they just they just go so nicely with everything else in here. So these are my extra special washcloths and hand towel. So I don't know if I mentioned, those are from Ross and they also have the full size bath towels too. Um, I didn't get any of those though. I just, I just wanted those. And I already have enough bath towels that I got um, from Costco, just plain white ones. So on this side, I have um, just like my cotton, cotton supplies, like my Q-tips I keep in here and then cotton pads in here. And I got those both, um, these containers, glass jars at Ross for only a few dollars each. Um, in the back here, let's move these. I have, I have two little acrylic containers. Um, those are both from Ross also. I know everything's from Ross. <laughs> Sorry. It's like, it's like my TJ Maxx, my Marshalls, you know, it's, it's it's the only one we have out here, so it's where I shop all the time. Um, so this is my Aromatherapy uh, Comforting Vanilla Spray by Oracacia. It's just, it's my favorite room spray. It's just so yummy. And in the containers here, the acrylic containers, I've had this one for a long time. Um, this one's new though, the little one. And I wanted to actually find two of these, but they only had one. But if I find another one, then I'll, I'll get that one. It'll be in here too. So I have my cotton balls. I have backup floss and this little sea sponge. This is a natural sea sponge. And this is a great size to use for your face. Um, I may do, I don't know, maybe a little tutorial or something on it sometime. Um, just how I like to use these. But it was only $4 at Long's. And they're just so cool. I just love the natural ones. I mean, you know, you can get like the loofah kind too like the I don't know like the vegetable loofah ones or vegetable based loofah whatever they call them um, but the natural sea sponge are just they're just different and there's just something really cool about them so in here I have just some of my nail supplies so I just have like my little nail brush for cleaning my nails which I need this for after working out in the garden because it can be so hard to get your nails clean after gardening so that works perfect for that and that is also from Long's um, so I, I really like the look of it. I know they have plastic ones too, but I really liked the wood and kind of natural fiber one. And then um, I guess I don't need to take this out. This is just my Revlon uh, nail clippers. So we'll just pop that back on there. And I think that is everything. So there's how I have everything organized and what I store underneath my bathroom vanity. And in case you're wondering, where does Michael store his stuff? Well, he actually never really stored his stuff under the bathroom sink because, I don't know, it's, you know, it's way down here and he's tall and it was always a pain. So he, he never really stored anything anyway. So he likes to keep everything in the medicine cabinet, which I'm all good with because I actually don't like keeping stuff in the medicine cabinet. I have like two items like down here, but pretty much all of my bath stuff and everything that I am always in and out of is down here now. So I have my own little world down here and I love it. So I can't tell you how good it feels to finally have my under the bathroom sink area organized and have it be kind of a pleasure to look at now. I actually enjoy opening it up and getting in there now. So I hope that you guys found some inspiration, some organizing inspiration from this. I know that I had a blast getting in there and tearing it apart and finally, you know, doing something about it. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.